Hi everyone, welcome to Stream. My name is Bilal Khan and I am a developer advocate. In this video, we will see how we can build responsive UIs for foldable devices. And if you have a foldable device, then that is awesome. In my case, I don't have a foldable device. Those are pretty expensive, right? But to test our application, we can download an emulator that will emulate the foldable device. And to download the emulator, you need to go to this link. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure you are using at least these versions of Android emulator and Android SDK platform tools. And this thing that is uh, Hexam Accelerator for Intel, we have it by default. So you need to make sure that you have these things in your machine and then you can download the Surface Duo 2 Android emulator. So in my case, I'm using a Mac, so I will download this one. But if you're using any other operating system, you can download the respective version. So we have this for Windows, Mac and this Linux. So I will download the Mac version. So let's click here and it will open the download page and from here I can click on download and I will get the version in my case I need to download this DMG that is for Mac you can select your version according to your operating system. So once you have this thing you need to extract the files and you need to paste it in your machine in my case I have already pasted it here as you can see here. So this is Surface Duo emulator. You need to open it and then you need to open this run.sh file in any code editor. So I will open it in Visual Studio code. And here you need to make sure that the SDK location is correct. In my case, it is correct. I'm using a Mac, so I need to worry about this location. And the location is correct here. If you have installed the SDK in a custom location, then you need to change it. In my case, it is the default location only. Now, once you have the changes, the correct location of the Android SDK, just save this file and then you can quit your editor. And then what you need to do is you need to open this path in the terminal. So I will open a new terminal at this folder and then i need to run the command i need to run the shell file so i will just try it run.sh here and it will start foldable emulator so you can see the emulator is started and after few minutes or seconds depending on your machine's capabilities it will start so you can see the emulator is now started and we can use this emulator to test our UI for foldable devices. And we can simulate the operations that we can have in a foldable device from here. So click on these three dots and go to virtual sensors from the left menu. And here you can see we have the options. We can rotate, we can move, we can fold and we can select different postures from here. For example, this is the open posture. Then from here, we can have a half open posture and we can also select this flipped posture and we can have the closed posture. So we have all the postures here that we can simulate and we can use these options to test our foldable UI. So in this example, I will show you how you can uh, detect what is the current posture of the device and based on that you can update your ui so let's start our android project so this is the empty project that i have created using an empty activity and the first thing that we need to do is we need to add some dependencies so inside my build.gradle that is for my module i have added these three dependencies the first one is this window, then we have coroutines and we have life cycle. The main thing is this one, with the help of this we will identify what is the current posture and we also need life cycle extension functions and that is why I have added this life cycle runtime and we also need to use coroutines with this life cycle runtime. That's why I have added coroutines, Kotlin coroutines. So we need these 
three dependencies. Now what we will do is we will open main activity. This is an example. You can use the same thing in a fragment or any other activity or wherever you want to make your UI supported for foldable devices. So this is a blank project and we have just this main activity and inside main activity I have designed a very basic UI. So I just have two text views. The first one will show a text and it will tell us that what is the current display status and the next one will tell the current posture. So I have two text views. So let's initialize these text views very quickly. So I will define two text views. So I have private lit in it where text view display type. This is text view and the same way I will define text view posture. Now let's initialize these text views. So I will write here text view display type equals to find view by id r dot id dot text view display type and the same for posture. So I have my two text views. Now we will use Jetpack window manager to identify what is the current status of the device. And for this, I will use lifecycle scope. So let's write here lifecycle scope and then I will launch and I will launch it inside dispatches.main because it is the UI operation. Then inside this lifecycle scope, we will use lifecycle and then we will write repeat on lifecycle. Now here we will pass lifecycle dot state dot started. That means when the lifecycle is started and again inside trailing lambda, we will use window info tracker. So here I will write window info tracker dot get or create. So we will use this function to get the window info tracker and this function accepts context and for the context we can pass this at main activity and then we will call this function that is window layout info this also accepts the current activity so here we will pass this at main activity again and then finally we will call the function that is collect so here we will write collect and because it is a stream this window layout info returns a flow and from that flow we can observe the stream here inside collect trailing lambda and here we will get the updated layout info so here we will write layout info you can also use it if you want so inside this collect we are getting the layout info and based on this layout info we can update our ui let's say we will check if layout info dot display features dot is not empty so if the display feature is not empty that means we have a foldable device and our application is spanned over multiple displays if this is not empty so in this case i will just display a text that is spanned across multiple displays and if this is not the case i will set the text i will make it let's say single display like this now we can also find out what is the current posture of the device and to do this i will define a folding feature val here and I will get it from this layout info instance. So here I will write layout info dot display features dot filter is instance. So I will check if we have an instance of folding feature. So if this is the case, we will get it. And to get it, we can use the function that is first or null. If it is null, I will stop the further execution and that's why I am using this Elvis operator and here I will write return at collect. 
that's it now we have this folding feature and with the help of this instance we can identify what is the current posture of the device so let's do it very quickly we can use a fan so here i will write fan and i'll check if we have a book kind of posture or if it is a table top posture and to find these things i will define some extension functions so let's define an extension function here so here i will write fun folding feature dot is table top and it will return boolean so i will define the return type as boolean here and here i will check return or we can simply write here equals to like this and we can write state if the state is equals to equals to uh, we will use this class again that is folding feature this is not a class actually it is an interface so we will use it and from this we will get the state and we will check if the state is half opened and we will also check the orientation so we will check if the state is half opened and the orientation is folding feature again and then orientation and we will check if it is horizontal that means it is tabletop so here we can check when folding feature is tabletop so in this case we can display the text uh, in your case you will update your layout accordingly in my case i am just displaying a text so i will write here text view display posture that is text view posture actually dot text equals to table top view and the same way i will define one more extension function to check if it is of book type so let's copy the same thing and i will name it as book posture and this thing will be the same i will just change the orientation to vertical so if it is vertical that means it is of book posture so we will write here folding feature dot is book posture then in that case we will update the text to book posture that's it so basically we are observing this stream that is giving us the layout info and based on the layout info we are updating the ui in this case we are just displaying the text but in your case when you are actually building a ui you will update the ui accordingly so first let's run this application and see whether it is working or not but before running it i will add one more case for my van and i will just add an else here and in case of an else i will change the text to that is text view posture dot text equals to normal posture like this and now let's run the application now if i make the application like this you can see we are getting spanned across multiple displays and right now it is normal posture so by default it will launch on a single screen and you need to drag it like this to make it on multiple screens like this and if i change the posture from here let's say i make it like this then i am getting book posture and if i make it like this i am getting normal posture so if i rotate it and i make it half open then i am getting the table top view so we are getting all the available postures and based on this layout information you can update your ui so whenever you are building an application for foldable devices you need to observe the stream and from here you will get the layout info and based on the new layout info you need to update the ui in this case we are just displaying the text but in your case you will update the actual ui and we also have an example of updating the actual ui and i will leave the link to the description of this video and in that repository 
you can see how you can use these two displays for your application for example if you are building a chat application in the first screen you can display the list of all available chats and in the next screen you can actually display the chat screen so that's how you can divide your ui between two parts and you can display one part and one screen you have a big space in case of a foldable device and you can use that space to enhance the user experience so that is all for this video friends i hope you found this video helpful and learned something in case you have any question or confusion you can leave it in the comments below and we will try to help you out so thanks for watching guys and please don't forget to subscribe to stream so i will see you in the next video bye bye hey i am back because i forget to tell something my friend Jay Wong has written a blog post about building UIs for foldable devices. So if you want to learn about this topic a little bit more, then you must check this blog post. And Jay Wong has also created a library that will help you building UIs for foldable devices. And this library is called Butterfly. You can check this as well. I will leave all the links in the description of this video. Bye bye.